Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Don, and today I'm talking about recycling. When, when you go to uh, dispose of your recycled items, it, it starts with making sure that they're, they're properly washed and cleaned, and really very thoroughly, guys. You can't have any food residue on them. You can't just give it a quick rinse where it, it looks clean. Any food residue on there is going to attract the insects, and this is what's going on right now, and a lot of the recycled items are being rejected, and they're ending up in the landfill. Uh, you might think you're doing your part, guys, but if you really want to do your part, wash them so thoroughly as if you were going to be eating off of them during your next meal then put them in the recycling bin. Um, that's, that's one thing we need to do. Um, and get organized at your home. You, you can have different recycling bins. If you have a garage, you can, you can keep a couple of bins in there. So, so it becomes easy for you guys, because what you will start to find is when you, when you go to throw your garbage out, I, I see so many people with these, these huge garbage bags, and I realize that 90 to 95 percent of that can all be recycled. Okay, when, when you recycle, you find that the stuff you actually throw out in the garbage, it can fit in a bag about this big. Okay, uh, the stuff that has to get recycled, that fits in, in a huge bag. Okay, um, are you one of those people who is throwing most of the stuff out in the garbage that can be recycled? Guys, we're throwing out too many things, especially let's talk about things like electronics and batteries, especially these, these, these little AAA and AA batteries. Guys, a lot of birds fly around these landfills and they're, they're looking for food items and they, they don't know. There's, there's no manual that, that they read. They don't go to school that teaches them what to eat. Even some of the, their, their parents, uh, that they're teaching them, uh, you know, if, if, if there's a, a little AAA battery and, and it's thrown in the garbage and some food has spilled on it, it smells good. They end up eating it. Guys, it not only kills them, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible way for them to die, okay? Collect up your batteries. Keep them in a box somewhere in your house where you keep your, your, your tools or, or in your garage. And then get on the internet, guys, and look for places where, where they will recycle them, where you can bring them. Um, um, encouraging you not to throw these in the trash. Look for places to recycle all your electronics. And until you do that, guys, find a place to store it up, even if it's a TV. Don't just throw it out. Uh, put it in your garage, put it in a closet, put it somewhere, and then turn it into a project. Find out where you could, could bring this stuff, load up your, 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 your vehicle, and, and uh, one day when you're doing errands, that's on the list. Drop off uh, the recycled things. And then it gets to the point where you do it once a month or, or once every six months or once a year if it's electronics. Um, there's many stores that accept recycled uh, items. Many of the grocery stores, ask them, do you guys have a place where I could bring recycled bottles and cans or plastics and and find these things out, guys, so it could be very convenient. Uh, you go in grocery shopping anyway. Um, bring them along and this becomes part of your routine. Even when you go for a walk, look for plastic bottles and, and, and cans. Um, I pick them up, guys. Uh, I have all kinds of wildlife in, in, in the area where I live, in, including bald eagles. And I, and I see them, guys, they are so beautiful and so majestic. And the, the young ones don't know exactly what to eat. I, I saw a great blue heron, okay? These birds are like four feet tall. And it, it was trying to swallow a, um, it was either a soda can or a beer can. It thought it was a fish. 
and it had it in its mouth and it was trying to reposition it to, to swallow it. And I was able to, to uh, um, go outside and kind of startle the bird a little bit and it flew away and it dropped the can. And I took it and I recycled it. Guys, look to do your part. And, and if, you see, if you see a can floating in the water uh, in a pond, depending upon where you're living, guys, um, a lot of these ponds have alligators in them. So uh, look for signs of that. And, and maybe if there's a park ranger or, or a, a professional who will help you if you see a, a can floating in the water, how to get that out. Maybe a professional could get a long branch and, and, and reach into the water with the branch to get it in so you could do it safely because uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta go about things the right way. Uh, there, there may be people who, who see something like that and they actually step into a pond to, to go get a, a soda can and, and there are alligators and crocodiles and all kinds of things. So whatever you're doing, guys, go, go about it in, in a very smart way. But guys, be aware of your surroundings. We're, we're living in a, a beautiful planet. And, and the, the human race is, is polluting it, guys. And we've all done our share, okay? Uh, ask yourself a question. Am, am I one of the good guys? Am I really doing my part, okay? Um, and you may be someone who's been recycling for years, but guys, are you doing it right? When you're washing the dishes, do you just give it a real quick rinse and then toss it into the recycling bin? Guys, the company is not going to accept it. All that stuff ends up on like a conveyor belt and they look it over and, and they can see the food residue on it. You can see it hasn't been pro properly cleaned and they have garbage cans right there and they toss them in. It ends up in a landfill. Guys, I'm asking you to rethink how you're going about this. Do it the right way, okay? Uh, you're just one person, and you might think, oh, there's millions of other people out there doing it the wrong way. Well, you start doing it the right way, and tell other people around you, people in your circle of life, and now they start doing it the right way, and each of them goes out and tells two or three people and you get this chain reaction and more people start doing videos and you start sharing these videos and guys just by telling one person that chain reaction within a couple of months can turn into hundreds of people and within a few years that can turn into tens of thousands of people recycling and cleaning up this beautiful planet that we have. And believe me, your creator, God Almighty, will bless you. I can't tell you how many times in my life I have been blessed, where the blessings seem to just come out of nowhere, where I needed a break, and I got one. And it wasn't a break. It was a blessing from God. I, I have no doubt. Okay, because I do my part and, and my intentions in everything I do is to do the right thing. And God sees that and he will bless you guys. Uh, I'm telling you right now, start recycling and start doing it the right way. Don't throw batteries in the trash. Don't get rid of your electronics like that. And watch what happens. But don't do it because you're looking for the blessing. Do it because it's the right thing to do. This is the planet that God gave us to live, okay, on. And, and, and we have all these creatures, so many animals are, are picking up plastics, and guys, they, they, are, they are finding a lot of dead animals, they're doing autopsies, and they're finding plastic inside them, okay. Um, so there's, there's people out there like me, I go for a walk, and I will even bring a little plastic bag, guys, and, 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 and I see a couple of bottles and, and a couple of little pieces of plastic. I even come across a lot of these little um, bottles of liquor. They're these little small miniature bottles. They're about the size of a remote control, 
and they, they fit in your pocket very easy. I pick these up all the time. Birds pick these up and, and they're the perfect size for them to swallow, especially a large bird. They don't know any better. Guys, do your part and God will bless you. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you click on the like icon, send me your comments, and subscribe to my channel. And take this journey to a world of wisdom. A world that can help both you and the animals live a longer, healthier, better quality of life. God bless and be well.